Okay, we'd like to now give you a summary on this cruise, the good and the bad, and maybe this will help you if you plan on going on uh, the Bliss Cruise or just say NCL mm -hmm. Cruise in general. Uh, this is another great cruise. Uh, considering that the cruise ship was full, which we're not used to, the uh, lines for things weren't that bad. And the pools were never that crowded. No, I didn't think they were crowded. Um, I'm assuming it's because of the time of year, the length of the cruise, and the number of children was very low on board. Were probably the main reasons for this. It seemed like the majority of people who applied for upgrades, which we've done in previous cruises, uh, did not get them, including us, mm -hmm. which tells you it was full, too. Uh, the elevators seem to only be crowded after an activity concluded, which is logical. Yeah. We decided that we love the larger ship and the smaller ships equally. Uh, we mm -hmm. found just as many advantages and disadvantages between the two and wouldn't hesitate to take either one for future cruises. The main reason we did a larger ship this time, as we had mentioned before, was because our son was coming with us and we wanted him to have more activities to do. Yeah, and we really liked the itinerary of the shows, too, you know. Well, the change of shows, the yeah. change of shows. Yeah. That's a tough part of the cruise ship. So if you go on the same ship, you see the same shows. Yeah. We really enjoy shows. We so. really do. I mean, they, we just found out that uh, Jersey Boys was playing in our area, and uh, it's $104 at the theater. It was a discount price. For and it. that's a discount price. Right. So you do. it's a real good value for your money. Yeah. Our first category is the cabin. Yeah, we booked a guaranteed inside cabin for 12 days at 533 with three people in the cabin. And we had a chance to bid for an uh, upgrade balcony cabin, so I bid the minimum. But we didn't win that bid. And we were at the front of the ship in cabin 5101. And the cabin was small with a full-size bed and a bed that dropped down from the ceiling. And we also had a fridge. Next category is our cabin steward. Yeah, our cabin steward was uh, middle of the road, and he kept the um, you know cabin clean and everything stocked. But we really uh, saw him. Yeah, we, we didn't see much of him. In fact, we found that in a lot of our cruises, mm. we have very few of they we have an interaction every day yeah. with them. Um, after this is the category of the ship itself. Oh yeah, this was our second cruise on a bigger ship, and we liked the amount of things to do on the ship. Um, since we had gone on the NCL Escape last year, we were fami very familiar with the similar layout of the Bliss and learned how to navigate the ship uh, on the first day. And we took part in many uh, activities um, and recreations on the ship. Yeah, we found out that all the breakaway ships are basically laid out the same way. So once you've been on one of them, it's pretty easy to, to mm. know where everything is. Uh, Okay, next is the food on the ship. Okay, we only eat at the complimentary restaurants, and we thought the cruise on this, uh, the food in this cruise was fantastic. Yeah. The service was slow as usual, but you expect that now on cruise ships, especially at the sit-down restaurants. But we didn't have a bad meal the whole trip. Nope. We thought the meals were the best that we've had on all the cruises that we've taken at both the sit-down and the buffet restaurants. Definitely. This is really good food. Food was fantastic. We actually ate less at the sit-down restaurants, which we always had a 5 p.m. seating, so that we could have a snack later on the buffet. Because mm -hmm. we always felt if we didn't go to the buffet, we'd miss something. <laughs> I know. I thought the buffet food was really good, not, you know, as um, compared to the uh, previous cruise. The pizza and wings were the best we've ever had on a cruise ship. Um, which led us to many, many late night snacks. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the foods that just jump out at you? We mentioned the wings and the pizza. Uh, anything else that jumps well, out? Well, we really at you? got into some of the Indian cuisine. Um, they had some unusual um, Indian dishes that we both liked. I can't remember the names of them, but they, right. they were really well, good. Well, one of these was they had deep fried mushrooms. Oh, three different nights, which that's are delicious. Right. Yeah. It was a, an Indian spiced batter. That yeah. They so the food overall was great. The local, we enjoyed stopping there for snacks, complimentary restaurants. Oh, we they even bad. had some delicious Thai food that um, I got into. The That's right. That in the soup station. Yes. Well, that was novelty. That was that, another that novelty. We're yes. not used to. Yeah. Okay. So move on to the next one, and that would be the entertainment. Mm. We thought the two main shows, Six and Jersey Boys, were, were excellent. Um, we enjoyed them as much as any show on any ship. Um, I happened to see six twice because I loved it so much. And both were Broadway shows and shows that fit our taste. Um, 
like I said, we went to both shows twice. Um, the bands and uh, the entertainment around the ship were also very good. And we thought several of the comedians were great and liked a lot of the smaller shows. Um, we also did smaller shows um, like uh, Prohibition. That was very good. That was um, one with the extra fee. Yeah. Well, it was worth it. It's a, it's a good show to see at least once. So do you agree? Probably the, the two main shows, um, Six and, and Jersey, were probably the best. Definitely. We really enjoyed the Beatles. We saw oh, those yes. many, many times. Yeah. Um, the Beatles are my favorite group, so I really enjoy them. And the comedians were enjoyable. So basically, yeah. the, the entertainment was very good. Yeah. I, overall, I give the entertainment uh, a nine. Yeah, if I give them a seven, you need to really get it up there to get me higher than seven. But it was great. Next category is the activities on the ship. Yeah, like all ships we have been on, the uh, Bliss had plenty of activities that we took part in. Uh, I wish we had time for more of them. Um, the racetrack was fun for my son, um, but it did take up too much room on the you know, top deck. Um, the mini golf um, was only five holes. But the slides were great, and we tried the laser tag. That was $10 for uh, two five-minute games, and that was a lot of fun. And we enjoyed watching the uh, uh, ball games and videos on the giant screens. Yeah, overall, it, it was a novelty. We've never been to the, had the laser tag or the go-karts on a ship, so it was a novelty. But if I had my way, I'd take both of them off there. I like the other ships, like the Escape, that had the rope course and... Uh, climbing wall and there was no uh, basketball court or anything on oh, the ship. Oh, that's true, yeah. So, you know, it was different, but I would, I like the other style top deck mm. uh, better than this one. Next thing we'd like to talk about is the atrium, which is my biggest pet peeve on any of these larger ships. Yeah, this was probably the one and only thing we didn't like on the ship. First, I have to say that the whole atrium is beautiful. The lighting was always changing, and the whole ship, including the atrium, was nicely decorated for Christmas. I'm not sure who designed the atrium, but it's the most ridiculous layout I've ever seen. Everything was run in the atrium, and we were there every day for something. The atrium was always overcrowded. They used the giant two-story screens for everything, from music to games, and only the people who were close to the stage could see everything. They put out some folding chairs, but the views were blocked by the overhang of the second deck. There was no walking path to move around, and people were just tripping over each other. A simple solution would have been to move some of the bigger activities like Deal or No Deal, Newlywed Game, um, to the Bliss Theater like they did on the smaller ships. And this is I've been playing with the Escape, too. I don't understand why they do this. They have plenty of other rooms that are bigger. Uh, Seems like a simple fix, but that's our one only complaint, really. Yeah. Now we'd like to say a little about the ports that we visit. Yeah, one of the main reasons we took this cruise was because of the variety of the ports. Uh, we enjoyed them more than I thought we would. San Juan was canceled because of uh, the evac. Yeah, it was the evac. Yeah. And well, we had to go back to North Carolina. Right, right. And uh, on St. Thomas, we did a snorkel excursion to see the turtles, fish, and swim at a beach. That was great. Um, and this port, um, the third port, uh, was St. Kitts. And we thought about staying on the ship but decided to do a little exploring around the port. And the port area uh, looks like it has improved a lot um, since our last cruise. Um, after walking around the downtown area, we stopped at a bar that had two monkeys and ended up playing with them for <laughs> over two hours. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was a lot of fun. Uh, the fourth port was St. Lucia, and we walked, um, we walked a lot um, in St. Lucia. Yeah, we just um, explored the downtown yeah. area and stuff. Uh, we walked all around the downtown area and then a couple of miles to a beach. Uh, the fifth port was Barbados, which was our favorite port. We walked downtown and then to several beautiful beaches. And this is where uh, our son finally got to uh, jet ski. <laughs> uh, and our sixth and last port was Antigua. And we explored the downtown and visited the festival. But this was our least favorite stop. Yeah, one thing I have to say is it was a totally different dynamic with my son there. Uh, we would probably not have ventured out like we did on this cruise into the towns. 
And it was almost like taking a, a bus tour or some kind mm -hmm. of a walking tour because we really got to explore the downtown areas on these islands, which I don't think we would have done on our own. So yeah. it was a very different kind of cruise and experience for us. And this, uh, the last category we have is the cruise package itself. I, I figured we've done this now several times. Mm -hmm. We have great luck with it. We figured we'd share our opinions on this, uh, opinions on this with you. Yeah, in my opinion, this is a great deal. Parking at port would have cost $400, and this package cost a little under $400. It included one night at the hotel, Hilton Garden Inn, breakfast, both buffet and off the menu, parking for the length of the cruise, and a shuttle both to and from the pier. And the hotel was very nice and clean. The rooms were large, clean, and perfect for our getaway. The rooms had a large bathroom, TV, microwave, refrigerator, desk, and comfortable beds. It had a workout room, pool, and hot tub. There was water, coffee, and tea in the lobby. The lobby in the hotel was um, has a small bar, lounge area, and some great places to relax and socialize. And we were there during the Christmas season this year, and it was beautifully decorated. The breakfast was very good and had a nice variety of food. And my car was safe all cruise. Um, they actually, you know, police the area, so they make sure that nothing's happening to your vehicles. And the shuttle to the pier and back worked flawlessly last cruise, but had some issues this time. I think the biggest difference from this year to last year was the shuttle service. I'm not sure, but I think they may have changed the shuttle service since last yeah, year. Yeah, maybe got a, new, a different company. Yeah, because last year we could pick our shuttle time to the port, and this year we were locked into a 10.30 a.m. slot. And that wasn't a big deal, but the biggest difference was the service itself. And I think that there was a very large group on the cruise package this year. I was told that over 30 rooms were rented for the package this year. Uh, several vans had arrived at the hotel at one time, and each person was assigned a van to bring their luggage to, and they were supposed to ride with their luggage. Makes sense, right? But for some reason, people were being directed to the wrong vans, and luggage was being moved all over the place. And one family, they had their uh, bulk of their luggage in one van, and the group spread across three other vans. Um, but hopefully this will be straightened out soon. And the other bigger problem this year was the pickup. We were all supposed to be at the meeting spot by 10.30 a.m. We were all there by 10 a.m. But for some reason, only one van arrived, took the first group, and told us the other van would be there in five minutes. It was supposed to be a 10.30 pickup, but the second van didn't get there until 11.25 a.m., almost an hour later. Last year, we were told to meet the van across the street, and... Uh, was there waiting. The van was waiting for us there. This year they picked us up on the same side of the street that the cruise ship was on. And the package, I agree, was still a very good deal, even with the shuttle issues. So those are our uh, uh, comments and statements on our cruise. We hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you on our next cruise. Please click on Smiley the Frog icon to subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell to be notified of future videos. And remember, stay young and have fun.